Hi, this is Pradeep. Uh, welcome to my channel. So from today, I'm going to prepare one new series, which is uh, FICO or uh, different interview questions. All these will be real time issues, okay, w which you are going to face or in interview, what are the different questions they are asking. So why the concept come into the my mind? Like uh, after watching my videos, I got a lot of feedbacks from you. That means you need the real time issues so, uh, so that you can crack the interview or you can uh, you are facing the issues in the interview like they are asking a lot of practical questions so you are not in a position to answer those questions so that uh, boosts me so that I why not I will create one series of videos and uh, those will help you like you have already uh, shown good response to my FICO videos okay so from now I'm going to prepare very short videos on couple of uh, real-time issues or real-time scenarios and it will be on continuous uh, continuity series okay and uh, whatever the videos I am going to create here it of course you will find this one in my YouTube channel and also related to that text that you can find in my website so this is my website skillstech.com here just go to the blog section and here you will find lot of interview questions of course this scenario questions I am going to put here other than this also I am planning like uh, I will put all the questions like uh, the conceptual questions which are coming in the interview so that I am going to post here uh, and uh, second thing uh, also I um, uh, like uh, I, I have received lot of feedbacks or lot of queries like you are during the practice you are not getting any support so um, uh, uh, I appreciate your uh, uh, feedbacks and uh, all your comments what you have posted in the uh, in my youtube channel so that's why I have here I have put one option you can see freeze raise etiquette okay so here you can raise your query your ticket while during practice so you just put it here don't send mail to me because it is not practically possible for me to answer all your mails but my team will help you definitely so you just raise the ticket here whatever the query what or whatever the issues you are facing during your practice you just put the uh, here you just put some brief comments on that or if you double click on the error you will find the error message in detail you just put it there right so uh, uh, I don't need your phone number just mention your name okay email ID and uh, this is one like uh, related w w uh, what is the ticket issue or w related to what and just give us brief description so definitely my team will help you and they will reply you as soon as possible so it will help you in your preparation so you will not face any problem during your practice or you stuck somewhere so definitely it will help you okay thanks for the updates so let's uh, discuss about this uh, real-time issues uh, anyway right now you can see very few uh, like two three questions are there just come to my mind and I started preparing this video today and uh, uh, but this will be uh, on continuous basis. you are going to get regular videos from my side so let me show you one scenario here this is uh, like uh, one scenario I remember in uh, some sometimes in interview uh, I uh, asked this question so for example let's say there is one purchase order raised at $13 for 50 quantities 50 units okay not 50 so it is 50 units so that means we are going to create so as you know uh, I don't prefer only the PPT presentation so we will practically see this one in the system and you will try to resolve it but of course in interview you are not going to uh, show all these uh, screens and all this is only to help you get the understanding or the concept but in interview you have to get, give the straightforward answer so that answer I will put it here in the blog section right what you will exactly you will answer in the interview that I will put it here this is only for your understanding so that you will get the clarity what is the issue and what is the uh, uh, interviewer is asking and how you are going to answer the questions so that is uh, we will see here okay let's back to the PPT so my client is facing one issue related to this one suppose we raise one purchase order so purchase order raised at the price of 30 per unit and we are going to raise 50 units the quantity we are going to raise 50 units and uh, of course Migo is also prepared on the basis of this 30 price th sorry not 30 one three 13 price the Migo is also processed but while in processing the invoice or the Miro they are saying that the invoice should be raised or they revise the price the invoice should be raised at 14 so what should be the answer in this case so I hope you got my 
the qu uh, query right what is uh, got my the question so invoice raised or the purchase order raised at 13 gr also processed migo is also processed 13 but at the time of invoice this is uh, at the time uh, at the rate of 14 maybe you can answer this one a simple answer we can reverse the migo and we can reprocess the migo with the correct price that is the 14 that is one option but i will not appreciate this answer rather we will go for a, a, a price difference option okay so what should be the price difference so that means uh, i can say for example here you can see a price difference of one dollar is there because you raise the purchase order at 13 invoice will be processed at 14 so per unit there is a price difference of one dollar will be there so for 50 units 50 price dollar will be that and that 50 we are going to adjust at the time of invoice processing that is our uh, that is our agenda okay and how we are going to resolve it so <coughs> let me log into the system so create one purchase order but again i need to check the what the material i created so i just forgot this one let me check oh sorry material number 11 triple zero three four one follow this material so i'm going to create one purchase order for demonstration purpose i'm using this company code ty10 purchase order information other details I will maintain here. Purchase organization. I'm sorry, I'm not able to recall. Let me verify it. TYPO. So material as I told we will select here double one four times zero three four one and we will raise so let's make it sixty sixty units right quantity sixty let's take the delivery date current date we are raising the purchase order at price of 13 so take this price as 13 currency i have maintained usd material group i don't remember what i uh, let me take this one plant is ty1 storage location ty10 The issue was uh, I wrongly entered zero, so that's why I faced the issue. Let me add once again quantity 60, delivery date.
current date I will take price we will take 13 now accepted here actually wrongly I was trying to the, I just I, I added here 0 it's not it's, it's not 0 it's uh, O T Y P O my purchase organization fine so we can process it purchase order created now with the same price we are going to process the big O that is the GR we are going to process let's process it PO we have raised at 13 per unit 60 units uh, MIGO also GR also we are going to process at the same price 13 So your material document 44 uh, generated with reference to this you will get a one accounting document let's check the accounting document with reference to the material document 44 so this is the accounting document and you can see the price what is the price price is 60 into 13 780 so next we supposed to re process the invoice at 13 which is uh, 780 but now here I will debit with the what the purchase order we have created now my per vendor updated me that means invoice price should be processed at 14 so let's process the Miro so what will be the accounting entry in this case normally what we used to do we have to re uh, re uh, debit the GRIR and we have to re uh, this is the accounting entry like with right now what is the accounting entry accounting entry is your stock debited with 780 and your GRR credited with 780 and when you are going to process the invoice so it should be GRR should be debit 780 and your accounts payable or vendor should be credited with 780 but now I am saying that we will not credit the vendor as 780 we are going to credit the vendor as 14 into 60 so it should be 840 so there will be a price difference of 1 per unit that means 60 price difference will be there so that price difference we need to adjust okay and not in accounting entry we are going to post it in the same invoice in the Miro screen also we are going to invoice it uh, we are going to adjust it let's see it Miro take the invoice date so here uh, I also configured the tax part so I'm going to select one input tax automatically the tax amount will be also there so let me take the amount so what should be the amount as per our new set new uh, um, uh, like 14 at the rate of 14 so it should be 840 so on 840 the tax amount will be there so 5% I have configured here the purchase tax or input tax so that means 60 into 14 that is 840 on 840 5% will be the tax so 42 so my invoice price should be 882 so let me put here 882 So with reference to this purchase order, I am going to process it. Now you can see there is some price difference is there. Like you can see here, the price difference is there. And uh, why we got this price difference? Because we are going to reprocess. So uh, the, due to this new price change. So that's why you can see here go to the GL account okay let me add the 
baseline date actually payment terms I have not configured so I took that today's date as baseline date and I go to the GL account so in the GL account list I have created one ledger or one account as the price difference so this is the ledger account I have created here for the price difference 1018 and I will adjust the difference amount here 1018 so what should be the difference amount the difference amount should be Sixteen to one, so that should be sixty. Now you can see there is no difference is there. Difference is adjusted. Let's post it. This one posted invoice process. Let's go to the accounts payable and we will see what is the amount invoice raised. This is the uh, invoice should be raised at 882. So as per our calculation, this should be the amount 882 should be the invoice. Uh, why it is 840? Don't get confused here. Why it is 840? Because uh, in my example, I have not included the tax. So that's why it is in, it's increased. So if you go to the details one, you can find it here. Why it is 882? Just go to this. So same with reference to this is the invoice what we have processed. So with reference to this invoice only, this accounting entry is generated and check the accounting entry.